guys, it's Quinn here. If you appreciate my content, consider hitting the like button. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm notices me. Hi guys. So I haven't made a video like this in quite a long time. Now, when Dune first got announced way back in around 2019, I was definitely making videos with every bit of news that came out because I was very excited about it. But now Dune has really gone mainstream in a way that it has never really been. So I don't feel the need to do that necessarily anymore. But this, I think, is an exception because this is really such a big deal. It has finally been confirmed that Dune Messiah is in the works. Dune 3 is happening. Now, this news just dropped 30 minutes ago today. Today is Thursday, April 4th. It's coming straight from Legendary. We had previously gotten statements from Villeneuve stating that he wants to do a third movie, stating that he was working on the script. But as far as official confirmation, this is the first time that it has been officially confirmed. Now, the reason that this is so exciting is because this is the furthest that we have gotten in the Dune storyline in a cinematic timeline. We, of course, have had the sci-fi miniseries, which did Dune Messiah and Children of Dune. But as far as a cinematic universe goes, we've never gotten this far into the timeline, and I'm very excited to see it. Now, the reason I think it's so important and so crucial that Dune Messiah is being adapted is because Frank Herbert was trying to make a pretty specific point with Paul Atreides, and that is a point about not trusting charismatic leaders. And Dune Messiah is needed so that we can see the results of what happened in the first book, and how it affected the universe, and how it affected Arrakis, and how it affected Paul. As we see at the end of the first movie, a holy war has begun. A jihad has been unleashed. I had said before that it would have been one of the greatest cinematic tragedies ever to not make Dune Messiah, and I'm so happy that we, we aren't living in the universe where we have the tragedy of Dune Part 1 and Dune Part 2 and no Dune Part 3. So having this confirmation is just absolutely phenomenal. Now as far as the further books in the series, like Children of Dune, like God Emperor of Dune, Villeneuve has said a few times that he has always kind of envisioned this as three movies. And from what I hear, he doesn't seem to have that much interest in doing Children of Dune. Now, that doesn't mean that a Children of Dune movie necessarily wouldn't get made if this one was successful enough. Honestly, what I would do is that I would wait for this movie to come out. And if this movie was successful, I would simply do a Children of Dune television show with HBO or something like that and continue the Dune storyline through television shows. I mean, I think God Emperor of Dune could be done as a short television show. And then I think that Heretics and Chapter House could easily be merged into one television show. So I think that even if Villeneuve decided not to do the later books and adapt those into movies, I think that there still could be a future for Dune on screen and it could even keep the same continuity. Now, I bet a lot of people are saying right now, oh, they're never gonna do those later books, but here's the thing. This entire way, and I've been here every step of the way, people have been saying that this was not gonna happen. People said that the first movie was gonna flop. People said that the second movie was gonna flop. People said definitely Dune Messiah is never gonna get made into a movie, and yet here we are with the official confirmation that Dune Messiah is here. So I would say, that the future of the Dune universe is looking pretty bright right now and who knows what's in store for the future. I think that there's a lot of possibilities for the future and I think that and I think that Frank Herbert's vision is going to continue to be interpreted and continue to be brought to a larger and larger audience. The success of Dune cannot be ignored at this point. Dune is huge right now. It's everywhere. I'm seeing memes, I'm seeing references. It was not like this six or seven years ago. So this movie has breathed new life into this franchise. It has breathed new life into this book series. So many people that weren't interested in Dune are now interested in Dune and taking a look at it and breaking down its philosophies and finding all of the interesting and weird things that this incredible franchise has to offer. Dune has always been a franchise that you know, people have been interested in, of course. People have been breaking down the Dune books 
for forever. Since Frank Herbert put them out, people have been trying to make sense of them and understanding them. I encountered a lot of different interpretations of Dune um, before I ever made my ultimate guide. It, it's been out there for a long time, but really there is something different about what's happening now. I really think that Dune is bigger than it's ever been, and it only seems like it's going up. I am just so happy and so ecstatic that the Paul Atreides saga is not ending. It continues forward from this point on, and I am very curious to see Villeneuve's interpretation of Frank Herbert's book, Dune Messiah. And I'm curious to know if he will include any of the elements from Children of Dune or what m could potentially be omitted from Dune Messiah, because there are a lot of weirder elements that get introduced in Dune Messiah, like face dancers, who are essentially shapeshifters who can look like anybody. There are, of course, the guild navigators in their tank. They're fish-like people. Um, there are, of course, there's, of course, Bajaz, the catalyst dwarf sent in by the Tleilaxu. So there's a lot of weirdness that comes into play in Dune Messiah, and I wonder how much of that is going to be included and what exactly might be scaled back. So I think this is when we'll really see how far Villeneuve is willing to dive into the weirdness of Dune, or if he is going to pull back from some of the weirder aspects of it. Now, I don't particularly think that Villeneuve is opposed to weirdness. I mean, the first Dune movie had the human face spider thing, and that's not even in the book, and that's pretty weird. Although Villeneuve does seem to have a bit of an obsession with eight-legged things. I think of the octopod aliens from Arrival. I think of the spider from Enemy. So he likes eight-legged creatures for whatever reason. But what I'm saying is Villeneuve does have his own brand of weirdness, and I don't think he'll necessarily shy away from the weirdness where it's necessary to the plot. And definitely the guild navigator and the face dancer. All right, so I'm going to link a couple of articles in the description so you guys can check out this news yourself. Tell me what you thought about the Dune movies. Tell me if you are excited for Villeneuve's Dune 3. And also, make sure you like and subscribe for more Quinn's ideas. Thanks so much, guys.